Alright. Well, welcome to my casual, fun time playthrough of a fan-made Mega Man game called Mega Man Unlimited. Contrary to the title, it is of a finite length, so please keep that in mind. The stream will not last for eternity. Letting this music play because there's an introduction. It's a very thorough fan-made game. The actual effort was put into this. It has some good points and some bad, but let's uh, see what the backstory is, because that's the most important thing in a Mega Man game. explosions that don't seem to actually do anything. This is not a creepy pasta, by the way, just a FYI. Dr. Wily is also a profound opera singer. Dr. Light killed a lamb recently and is wearing it on his chin. Oh yeah, I need to tweet that this is beginning. What's this? the intro. Any thoughts? Any reflections on what we've just seen? Could Dr. Wily be telling the truth? He was kidnapped after all by somebody. That's different. Well, let's get into it and see our lovely robots. Here they are, folks. We got the Lady Energy represented once again, just like Mega Man 9. We got Comet Woman there at the bottom. Some unusual choices like Rainbow Man and Blue Man and Yo Yo Man. Yo Yo Man. I think he's just trying to introduce. I had a very fun time going through each of these trying to figure out what the best first choice was, but I eventually decided, and Dactylon, you might debate with me on this, but I think Nail Man is a good one to go first. Because you know what? You look at him and you just want to nail his ass. Am I right? <clears throat> Tile screen works like Mega Man 3, I think. His eyes go everywhere. And it also has a shop, just like I think my intended. The game's still loud? Alright, no problem. We'll adjust that. Any better? Alright. Yeah, the game does seem a little bit louder than most other things. Oh, that's alright. Anyway, we're gonna do Nail Man first unless there are any objections. Someone still said it's loud. Is it still loud? Because I'm getting close to, like, mute level for the game at this point. Okay, I'm getting some no's. I do want you guys to hear the music, because some of it is, uh, is pretty good. It's all original. Hardly anything is recycled in this game, actually. <clears throat> so he's a, he, he's a nail. <laughs> Gotta give him that. Here, let me turn down the game just a smidge more, because I'm hearing some I can hear you all right. All right. That's about as close as I can get to not actually muting the audio, so... All right, anyway, this is Nail Man stage. And there are nails. Even in the background, for some reason. I don't know where this is or why it's nailed everywhere. There's construction sites everywhere in this city. I'm 
thing I don't like too much about this is they do a little too much of having the you have just enough room to make these jumps jumps. But it's not terrible. <clears throat> and you have, of course, the nails. Nails and nail man stage, but they're throughout the game. They're your game's currency. You can buy stuff with them. Ain't that great? Don't screw with the volume anymore. I can do that. We're all happy now. <laughs> yeah, Dectalon, I have a habit of doing that, even though I know it's not necessary at all. Uh, it jumps like this. I hate this. And yes, I always do take a running start, even though I know you don't need to. It just, you know, it gives me anxiety. Oh yeah, and you got Rush. He works like Rush. And the handy shoulder buttons you can map. This game is a piece of software. It's not just like a ROM hack or anything, so... It is its own program. It has controller support, though. You can even set it where slide is its own dedicated button instead of having to hit down and jump at the same time, which I think is handy, because I'm using the Xbox controller stick, and it's very easy to go down accidentally on that. Precision jumping, folks. That me tool is a dick. This is one of those pay attention parts, and you'll be fine. Dactylon, how much time did you spend trying to figure out how to get that energy that you cannot get right now? Or that tiny little E thing, for that matter. Hmm. Oh yes, this game has tiny E-tanks. If you collect four of those, you get a full E-tank. Fun fact. And again, please uh, hashtag all of your Mega Man fun facts with hashtag Mega Man fun fact. You can add the word unlimited to that if you need to. Here's a pro trick. Let's just skip this little section. It's annoying, not too difficult, but... Eh. This part is kind of a dick. That's my one problem with the level design philosophy of this game, is that there's a little too many instant death opportunities, and the levels feel long. I don't know if they're actually long in comparison. And it's time to... Uh, uh, uh. That's the first time I've done that without taking damage. Oh yeah, and fun, uh, fun thing that's not the boss shutters, it's just the midpoint of the level. This is the midpoint where you spawn from. Dexalon, do you want in the call? Do you want to chat about Mega Man? Would the chat enjoy that? Having the Dectalon perspective? Because I just realized I'm concentrating a good deal on this. I don't know if that's boring you all. No creepy pasta reading. This is a legit stream, folks. Let me get to the end of Nail Man, then we'll take a little break. Get you dialed in, my friend. Whoops, wait. Let's do this sensibly. My phone's ringing. But I'm gonna ignore it. Because this is some serious shit we're doing, guys. If I die at any point until I get to Nail Man, I'll be taken back to that lovely sunset. And I'm very surprised I dodged that. And you should be too, because you've all seen me play Mario too. Though when I was in more perilous conditions. Is 
see, like I said, many an instant death opportunity to be had. Isn't it lovely? This part looks intimidating, but it's easily skippable thanks to our buddy. Our default buddy. This part took me a little bit longer than it should have to figure out, but just, you know. Boom. And this part as well. W tanks are weapon tanks. They refill all your weapon energy. And notice how the shutters here, remember in Mega Man 9 how all the do uh, Dr. W's were replaced with Dr. L's because it was thought that Dr. Light went nuts. But here they're rebelling, so they just, you know, socket to old Dr. W. Anyway, it's Nail Man time. Who's ready for Nail Man? A any guesses to the chat, anyone who has not played, what his power is? Nailman is one of the easier bosses, once you figure out what he does, but the problem with fighting him with Busta is that he's a shield-based boss, so the thing he's weak against will penetrate it, but nothing else will, so you have to be patient. So I hope you're all patient, because this might take a while, especially if I fuck it up. So yeah, he fires them all at once, or one at a time, depending on what kind of mood he's in. Depending on how he wants to nail ya. Oh, thought I'd do it without getting hit. But this is pretty much all there is to him. So you figure that out, it's not too hard. That can trip you, though, when he does... when he beheads himself. That's just fucked up. So, Dectalon, how would you rate how I'm doing so far in the game? Am I the proest player? Have I dethroned you? Come on, real dude. Yeah, and when he unscrews his head, he doesn't get rid of his shield, so it's more waiting. That was just stupid. Ooh, so was that. Oh shit. <laughs> there we go. And that was the final nail in the coffin. Yeah! So that was Nail Man. And we get that thing. And uh, the other important reason to do him first, you get Rush Jet. And Rush Jet saves your ass many times in this game. It's a good crutch to have. So let's shop! So, here's what you can buy. This game has the energy balancer. I'm saving up for that, definitely. Everything else don't need too badly right now, but you're going to want to stock up on everything by the end of this game, pretty much. Who is, uh, the green robot? Anyone? And why does he look so cross with us? Auto. Okay. <laughs> of course, I mean, you look that- oh, it's Auto. He has a face on his head and his tummy. The face on this tummy looks like Rosie from the Jetsons. Alright. So now we've got an order to go in. And I know who's weak against everything. So, oh yeah, uh, Dectalon, do you still want in? Do y'all still want a Mega Man, a second Mega Man Pro in here? Or do you prefer the dead silence of me? contemplating why I'm playing this game with my time. 
All right, so people on deck on. Let me take a quick sip here. We're off to a pretty good start. Knocking on some wood there. Alright, Dectalon, where are you, buddy? Calling Dectalon? Gonna have to do some audio testing on you, my friend, because you're often quiet when I edit your audio for Galaxy videos. Oh yeah, soak in the boss screen here. Who are you intrigued? in this screen, folks. Whose weapon, or who makes you wonder, what does that weapon do? Oh, you're hearing the boots. Dexalon, you're not picking up. Okay, we're apparently not able to reach Dexalon. That's okay. We'll keep going. Nails work. Everyone knows that if you see a tank coming in, you throw some nails at it, and it is fucked. So that's the <laughs> rather interestingly designed tank man. And yes, I do like the uh, salute that he gives you. And I also I, I didn't give enough time for that enemy to appear, but that's uh, a, I'm gonna call him the foreman or the I don't know, administrator because he's wearing a tie. That's a tie. See that? It's a tie. That robot is wearing a tie, guys. What? What's going on? Anyway. Uh, Dectalon, did you say something in the chat that I missed? Because I don't give a fuck. And you know what the best strategy is against Tank Man? You tank him. These guys can frustrate you when you don't figure out what they do, but just slide under them when they hop up, and you're good. I'm sorry, I just love that there's a robot that wears a tie in this game. That's amazing to me. As far as level design goes, I think this game does a pretty good job at kind of the level design philosophies of Mega Man. By that I mean, you know, it shows you a thing in a very controlled environment, you got it down, and then you have to apply what you learned. Pretty good stuff there, I think. Now we have enough currency for the energy balancer. It's lovely. Above all, in this game, I think patience is the key. Don't never rush things. And we've got some DBZ-style sniper Joes here. Oh. I always fall for that. For whatever reason. Mm, wait. Yeah. Again, like I said, don't rush. <laughs> get it? I'm sorry. So notice the thing on the ceiling. Here's a weird gimmick that. Woohoo! Oh, no, it's just like, no. oh god! <laughs> That's why you gotta pay attention. Otherwise, you'll fuck everything up. It's complicated when he throws those things at you. Then it does this, which is kind of a dick move, but you can skip it. Fun facts, guys. We are learning so many fun facts. Let's see, I think this is the midpoint of the stage. I think. I wouldn't know because I never die in it. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. And again, liberal use of spikes, as would be expected. Am I going to race this? I doubt that. I don't know anybody besides me and Dectalon that's uh, put enough time to actually play and beat this game. I think it's worth playing, though. It's just a little too difficult. 
Sorry if I'm only paying a limited amount of attention to the chat, but this game requires lots of, uh, lots of mega concentration. Oh, shit. Don't panic! Don't panic! See? Don't panic and you'll be rewarded. No. Weapon energy, that is. So what do you guys think in the chat? The game. I mean, you can do this forever. That's pretty fun. Hmm. Again, if you're ever feeling anxious, just use Rush Jet. And then, of course, you're... Oh, you bastard. Also, the music is pretty solid. I like the music in the stage. Okay, this room... Dectalon, tell me something. Have you ever done this room without getting hit by that jerk at the bottom? Because I've used Rush Jet, I've just jumped on the ceiling, but I always get hit by that thing. Watch, I'm gonna get hit. What a... And it was worth it! I'm glad I did that. If you miss that jump, then you're in for a world of not having fun. I love that robot, it's awesome. Let's see, I think underneath is the way to go. I really don't like that guy up there. Okay, this is kind of a dick thing. Because if you get off the screen, he'll just regenerate. But, yeah. Again, anxious, use Rush Jet. Especially in this area, it's handy, lets you skip some things. Ooh. Ooh. And don't forget that guy is there at the end, or else you're in trouble. Anyway, we're a tank man! He's weak against the nail shield. So we're gonna nail him with that. And hope he doesn't tank us with his high health points. <laughs> Are there any nerds in this chat, <laughs> right? I like Tank Man's design. Sorry if I didn't show him off too much, but uh, you, that's pretty much it. He can charge at you too, and he can't get hurt by conventional weaponry. The weapon you saw is the weapon you get, also. He's uh, much more difficult if you don't have that. And there's your heavy ordnance that you get. A missile, something else, and a lobby grenade. So let's get ourselves the old energy balancer. And save up our rest. Our rest. Save up the rest, and then we'll rest. So, clearly, you guys are thinking in terms of logic at this point. Nails, penetrate tanks, duh, right? So, obviously, the next line of thought would be that a heavy tank arsenal would work against women who are from space. Anybody else get to that conclusion, like, immediately? Because, uh, you should have. So, we're gonna take on Comet Woman. Comet Woman stage uses the Starman philosophy of jumping big. It's a neat uh, gimmick, but I always forget about it when I go to the next stage and then inevitably take a far too courageous jump. You can shoot the things that those things put on. Th I'm just gonna say things a lot in this stream. Also, fire on those meat tools very fast, because they are quick on the draw. Remember in Kirby's Adventure, that quick draw game? It's like the hardest difficulty of that. Wow, 
lots of concentration here. What are the enemies in previous Mega Man games who spawn endlessly from those? Well, they're Mega Man 2, I think. I forget what they're called, but... Oh yeah, and if you want to kill these things, Heavy Ordnance will do the trick. Fun facts, guys. Ooh. When I first went through the stage, I thought those things would instantly kill you, and I actually made it through the whole stage without ever getting hit by them. Until I came back later and realized, oh, it's actually fine. Doesn't mean you don't need to concentrate, though. One little knockback, and then you're fucked. Sometimes. Later, that'll be the case. And I hate this little section. Because one little hit, you get boned. Pro tips. Okay, this is the midpoint of the stage, and this is this is just a jerk thing to do. I'm gonna take a break for a second. Sip my Beatus beverage while y'all take this in, because this is I hate this. I think of any point in the game, I probably died here the most. I don't know if you can slide it. I don't think I've slid it, slid it. Dectalon, any tips? Can you slide this deck along? I've always jumped and then, in my descent, you can slide it, really. Should I believe you or are you trolling me? Walk off the ledge? Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Thanks, deck along. Here's how I do it. Okay, so if you want a real pro player, then do what I do. That's the first time I've died, too, deck along, you monster doing so well. It's all downhill from here. This is another dick room. I mean, look at this. You have just enough jump to get clearance for that little spike shit in the middle. I guess you could rush coil it. That would actually pro propel you all the way up. Let's try that, actually. Well, actually, no. You get just as much jump as you do, uh, whatever it is I'm thinking of. Dectalon is the prankster comet of this, uh, this game, you're right. Thank you, Energy Balancer. Oh, you bastard. Oh, quick draw me, tool. Ooh, I'm bad at this game. Do not jump towards that thing if you haven't killed it. Ooh. I'm not a fan of precision jumping in Mega Man games. Because I never feel like I tap and let go of that A button to Capcom's satisfaction. Okay, you can uh, fly over that thing if you have sufficient clearance with Rush Jet. You ever get this pro Dectalon, do ya? Do you? Okay. Oh, uh, these letters will be explained sometime later. But there are collectibles. Hidden collectibles. And the tank weapon will destroy those barriers. If you are afraid of barriers. Ooh. Well, I don't really need that, but I didn't say it. How pro can you get it? Oh, sorry. I'm hubris man. I think we can do without that weapon energy. Or, uh, life energy. Alright, I don't like this. Dudes. Only the bottom part of the tank weapon will actually kill them, and I think I'm gonna stop trying that. Oh wait, I can just rush jet my way over there. Did not notice that before. Oh, 
Hey, there we go. It's all going according to my design. Hell yeah. Alright, this is just kind of stupid. I mean, if you do this stage first, it's just like, clear this pointless gap, and if you don't, you'll fall to the room below and probably get hit by one of the enemies that respawns in there. So I just, you know, do this instead. Fuck your design! So here's Comet Woman. Again, uh, she is not too difficult if you pay attention. That's really the big thing, is paying attention, because those things will orbit you, and then hit you, and then you have to not do what I did. You have to actually slide out of the way. And also watch, uh, because they will block your tank weapon. Which I'm doing a terrible job at, wow. That was close, because when you actually touch robots, they hurt you a lot. That was Comet Woman. What do y'all think? Y'all having fun? An unlimited amount of fun learning about Megaman? And the weapon you get from Comet Woman is actually quite cool. I like it. Yeah. You get an air dash. Ain't that neat? Isn't that fucking awesome? So we got 40 space bucks. Kinda wanna get an E-Tank, but I don't think we need one quite yet. Cause, you know, the next stage isn't too bad. That's a good point, Dectalon. Enemies can be hit by all three projectiles that tank man's weaponry fires. So anyway, you're thinking you have the ability to dash across the air. What? better person or robot could that hurt than one that actually uses the air to his advantage himself? If that sentence was could not have been worsely struck. It's Jetman. Okay. The New York Jets man. And he's kind of like a jet. I mean, what more can you say? The design philosophy is good, and the background of this stage is quite nice. Look at that. All custom made. And my- oh, um, before I go on, this stage has my favorite new enemy of any Mega Man game. Favorite, uh, favorite enemy period, I would say. I don't think I'll have sufficient time to show him off, so- because you have to kill it very quickly. So just pay attention. Because inevitably you'll see what he does at some point, because I'll mess up, so anyway. It's a guy in a hurry to catch his plane, and he releases birds. He's smuggling birds. Oh, that's great. I'm gonna see your reactions to that. The chat, okay. Maybe you have to pay attention to the chat. Anyway, that enemy's awesome. So, these things, they're really annoying, but the key is... Kill them right when they come up, and then you'll have enough time to clear that gap. Oh, you so Oh well. He was also smuggling health. And he also pops out of that thing, and he's... Wow, what a dick. It's like an entire family of identical twins catching their flight. Whoops. Let's try that again. No, you were not catching your plane. I think the first draft of this stage, uh, first Robot Master, was going to be TSA Man, but it didn't quite work out. Ooh, that was totally my fault. It's okay. Highly encourage you map the slide to an actual button instead of down and jump. Makes things, makes life easier. So this is one of those jumps where I do not feel secure. 
in my abilities, so break out the old rush jet. Oh, this, uh, so this is actually a pretty cool sub-boss, too. I think you'll like it. The nail weapon is pretty good because it can hit multiple times and it's pretty easy to target. Could have done better with that. But. Anyway, that's a pretty uh, pretty original mid-boss, I think. And here's these things. Check it out. Yep. Really self-explanatory. I think the Dr. Mario pills from Mega Man 9 were cooler, but I'll take this. Not catching your flight! Anyway, it's clear what this room wants you to do, but you can just rush coil your way out of it. Also, it's a bit of a suspicious thing you could- oops, sorry. You can break those barriers up there and get to a different area of the stage, but I'm gonna do that at a different time. I'm just gonna do these like normal. Is anyone watching this after watching me play Mario 2 and is really confused right now? Whoops. Because, Dectalon, I want to show off the whole stage. Or not the whole stage, but the, the conventional run of the stage. And I forget if this is where one of the letters is, or it's just a different path. I think it's the letters. Yeah, there's a letter. Anyway. Oh, you bastard. Uh, so we're two little E-tanks short from getting a full one, and I need weapon energy. Also, I do not a fan of this part of the stage. But we can get some health energy. Oh shit. That'll barely make up for what we just lost to get it. Oh my god, shitty respawns! Anyway. I think we came up with a net even there. It's alright. Pretty neat part of the stage. Makes you think a little bit, makes you be patient. Test your reaction time a little bit. Slid right into that one. Oh dear. Oh! Nice. We are not entirely fucked. Oh god, I do not like this. Oh dear. Okay, we're out of stuff. Comet Dash, I'll die if I use it. Tank Arsenal's not all that effective. And, well, that's that's what'll happen, quite frankly. And see, this is what I was saying earlier about the stages feel a little bit long, because I think they are kind of long, and checkpoints are not very generous. Probably should have used that E-Tank, but that's okay. We'll get back to where we were in no time. By that I mean sometime. Hope you don't hold that against me. That was just stupid, sorry. Actually, maybe now would be a good time to take that alternate path. Or did I just miss that? I think I just missed that. So what am I missing? Oh well. Maybe if I die again. I just want to do this endlessly. Megaman needs his cardio, but enough nonsense. Uh, 
That's what makes dying frustrating in this stage especially, is because you have to do this section again and it's slow. Very slow. Very slow if you want to be patient about it. Oh, I should have taken the bottom path all along the last time around. So if anyone's interested in playing this game, it is free. Just Google the game name. And you can play a fan-made Mega Man game. But you'll probably hate it at first, because you're going to die a lot. Because it takes learning. Dodging that was a miracle. All right, guy. Mm. I used to have this down, but I just tanked it because I beat Tank Man. Get it? And good thing because this is the boss. Shut hers. Not a fan of enemies like this that have a tiny little hitbox that is only occasionally available. Let's see, do we need weapon energy? Not particularly. Not for what this guy is weak against. Oh, and it's a vertical boss shutter. We haven't seen that since uh, Mega Man 1. Way to be original. Ugh. Anyway, we might use an E-Tank here just to uh, be on the safe side. Jetman is not very difficult, but the weapon you use against him is I say that as I get hit. But he's got a very discernible pattern. But the Comet Dash... <laughs> well, fortunately we're right here, so... Not a big deal, guys. Don't panic. Comet Dash gets used up very quickly. It gets used up further than it hurts him, unless the little things that come out of you hit him also, which is kind of difficult to do for me, because I'm not very good at this. But he's busterable. It just takes time. And that is a really hard attack to dodge for me. I'm sure Dactylon doesn't have a problem with it. And we're out. We have a weapon tank, but we're not going to use it. Here's his attack. And that's the weapon you get from him. There we go. Oh. It's okay, we have an E-Tank if we need it. Would not recommend doing this boss first. This bustering takes quite a while. It tends to spend a lot of time off screen. Ugh, tank it! And that's Jetman. There is no charge in this game, BPCL. It is Mega Man 3 philosophy. And so we defeated the New York Jets, man. And we got a crappy team ability. Huh, football fans, right? No? Probably not. Here's his weapon. It's a missile. You can fire it straight, and you can aim it if you hold down the button. So why don't we buy ourselves another E-Tank for good measure? Other than that, I think we are good for now. So, here- oh yeah, there's a cutscene. Now that we've beaten off half the robots, get to the bottom of this plot thing. It's a virus, y'all.
The only thing Mega Man's infected with is rage. So, we have a jet missile. Now, obviously, you know those douchebags who do the yo-yos and act like they're all cool about it? You ever wanted to fire an ICBM at them? Well, that's what this design was all about, because missiles defeat yo-yo. So, um, uh, that's it. Yo-yo man. He's, he's holding a yo-yo. He's yo-yo man, all right. He's got one for a hat. He's wearing a yo-yo for a hat. <laughs> yo-yo man. Yeah. So there's a lovely, uh, militaristic space needle behind us. Pretty cool music in this stage, too. Hey, another militaristic space needle. Cool. Oh, I hate these enemies so goddamn much. Those things are the worst. Declan, do you have any tips on those things besides fire fast? Because they take a lot of hits and they're really, really, really annoying. Skater asshole man indeed. I mean, if you throw nails at him, that would probably work. Oh. And then, of course, deadly yo-yos. You'll see plenty of more of those right now. Those are yo-yos that don't have strings. You know, pretty common. Ooh. I get too carried away here. Fuck you! Anyway. Let's get some more nail currency. I mean, basically the only thing I know how to do, uh, what to do against those is just fire really fast at them and hope they uh, don't get to you in time. Also, Rush Jet handy here, because you can get an extra life with little risk, little to no risk. That could have been bad, that could have been bad, but it wasn't. And that's that section. Of course, we're going to get a whole bunch of these guys flying in now. Because even though enemies go off screen when they're to the left or right and they, uh, I don't know, you aggro them, they still exist. This is the stage's midpoint. I, I, I'm led to believe that these are yo-yos? I don't know. Anyway, if you're anxious about getting them like that, nail them. Again, more of these, like, Mega Man-sized columns to stand on. It's not fun. These things are kind of neat, I guess. You step off them, they reset to their uh, original position. Again here, patience is key. Surprised I didn't get that there. Anyway, getting some valuable Rush Jet fuel courtesy of the Energy Balancer, because Rush Jet will be handy one more time in this Chaos stage. Again, pointless spikes on the ceiling. I do not- ooh! Overcompensated on that one. My bad. I'm sorry, guys. But you know what? I'm just doing it to spend more time with all of you. I would like to talk about it. Whoever said that. Dectalon, are you ashamed of me? Have I failed you? Dectalon san. Mega Man Master. Actually, I don't think we lost too much progress doing that. Didn't use any more rush shit either. Either. Woo. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. All right. Let's uh, let's err on the side of safety. 
just don't forget to jump at the end, for God's sake. Alright. Oh, another dick thing here. Make sure you don't fall down the ladder or hit. Shit will happen to you. Not fun. You let that happen to you. Oop. Thank you, Rush. We're in a rush, so... I'm bad at video games, I'm sorry. Yeah, my dog watched him as he died. I felt good about it. Good! That makes you feel better. Because Yo-Yo Man, I don't have a fun time with him. I feel like that's more my fault than the game's fault. Oh, shit. <laughs> Right. Sorry for the, uh... Oh, boy. Not a fan of this section, either. Don't overcompensate your jump. Again, let's uh, err on the side of caution. I think we have just enough to make it. I think with this game, if you go to the pause menu, you won't actually lose your rush jet. Only if you switch out of it. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, we made it. Anyway, Yo-Yo Man is weak to missiles. We got full life. How are we feeling, folks? How are we feeling about the odds? I find this robot to be kind of hard. Taking a quick sip of liquid courage. Stretching. I do have two energy tanks in reserve. I'm not afraid to use them. Watch. The horror of Yo-Yo Man. One thing with a jet missile is that you need to have a pretty generous angle in order to execute it successfully. Okay, that actually wasn't that bad at all. He never did the thing. He throws a yo-yo at the ceiling and swings from it for a while and then chucks yo-yos at you like an asshole. You know, just like in grade school when that guy would do that very same thing. We got not Metal Blade. All right. So I think we have two E tanks, so we might as well get a third. I don't think we need these things quite yet. Maybe a W tank for good measure. Alright, now, whenever you're in a sticky situation, you know, you gotta throw a yo-yo at it. That'll get you out of it. Yo-yo beats glue. So, I've got your number, Elmers. I mean, everybody in the chat knows this, obviously. But yes, glue man. Whoever made this game thought, you know what, I'm running out of nouns. That could be weapons. Thanks, Capcom. Anyway, there's a ketchup and mustard dispenser there in the background. It was actually in a fast food restaurant. It doesn't make much sense. I mean, and that's mayonnaise, I guess? I don't know. Whoever works here must be horribly obese. Okay, this enemy's pretty cool. I like the uh, design of that. It's pretty neat.
And that's, uh, barbecue sauce? Oh, no. It's disgusting, whatever it is. Oh yeah, the floor here is sticky. You cannot slide, you cannot move, you can only jump. Kind of a neat concept, I guess. I don't know if it was a necessary concept. Uh, I, relish, maybe? I don't know. I'm running out of things. Oh, this is a neat thing you can do. <laughs> Let's get that nail. This is more annoying to get than it should be because of the floor. No, I said mayonnaise already. We got mayonnaise. I'm running out of condiments. Anyway, this section is more annoying than it really needs to be, so let's just rush jet it. I already said barbecue sauce also. Now we got three of them, I need three more? I mean, someone said horseradish, I guess that's a thing. I guess that's a thing. It exists. And, uh, I don't know. I mean, none of these would be glue. We not use glue in a fast food place unless we're serving horses. Makes no sense. Anyway. Uh, Tabasco. Someone said Tabasco. Uh, ranch, maybe? If you really want a shitload of stuff on your salad. Sorry, just got a little notice pop up on my phone. Uh, is the stream still live? We good, folks? A couple of those weird ActiveX messages. Can y'all still hear me? Yes, okay, good. Anyway, uh, cake frosting, someone suggested. It's very possible. Oh yeah, uh, level design. You can stick to the ceiling. Alright. Of course, if you do it here, you know, it's just annoy the player a little bit. But I guess it's teaching you to avoid that in the future as it comes up. Anyway, here's a good point to demo the jet missile. There we go. In better detail. I really don't like this jump either, especially because, I don't know, something about the floor gives me anxiety a little bit, so I like to just, just as a precaution, use the little rush jet. Yeah, I agree, Deck 1. This game is quite good about demoing gimmicks for you before actually uh, exploiting them. I do not like this jump. You can't hit the ceiling, but if you don't compensate enough, you die. So... Ugh. Oh my god, they were once brothers. Again, I like to just rush jet this. Come on. These guys just stare at you. I think just about anything you throw at them, they'll throw back. Uh, the jet missile I know it does. The tank I'm not so sure about. Nails it'll throw back at you. Comet dash it can't throw back at you. Yo-yos, surely it can. But, you know, can't demo any of it because I only had one health left. Why not rush jet the whole game? Well, you know, you might need it later. Alright, this is a platypus man. A mid-boss they love so much that they have it in this level three times. All those mid-bosses with the only shoot in the eye, avoid the stomp, move around, just, you know, be smart about it. There's another deviating path. We'll show that off some other time. I was only prepared to do the eight robots for this stream. This game is hard. It requires a little bit of practice, in my opinion. So once we beat off the eight robots, I think we'll be done for the evening. Oh, I guess I'll show off what these guys do. They do a flash stopper type thing that hurts you, so you gotta kill them fast. Fortunately, in most places where they show up, you can get to them pretty quickly. Murder them. So who is downloading this game right now? I don't think we even need this. Eh, not really. 
that's okay. So, fight the platypus again, but this time, the ground is sticky! Oh my lord! What a twist! That was so great that we'll do it a third time! This time I'm gonna break out the heavy arsenal. Because this one is just kind of annoying. But the nail shield makes it pretty inconsequential. Any thoughts on that? I'm gonna take a quick uh, Liquid Courage break. And here we go. Another dispensary of something. Good time to rush jet. I keep using the pause menu even though I know you can do this. But you know, that's uh, Mega Man Habit. Mega Man Habit. So what are you gonna do? See, we have now three W tanks and three E tanks for pretty good shape, I must say. We almost weren't in good shape. There's another one of those kind of just annoying rooms. Just those precision jumps I'm just not a fan of, even though I know Mega Man, Mega Man is a platforming game. I'm not supposed to do that. I don't know, I just don't like it. This game, you know, you see, I see that little asshole spike there at the end of the glue conveyor. I'm sure you all do too. Just a, a jerk thing to do. That's jerk level design. More jerk level design. Precision dropping. Thank you for that. But we made it. And at full health. So Glue Man is... I have the hardest time with Glue Man. And I know I shouldn't, because his pattern is very obvious. But Glue Man, despite his name, kind of goes all over the place. As you will see shortly. He's weak to the yo-yo, obviously. So, y'all are feeling ready for it. Uh, pardon me, I'm just stretching. We're gonna do it. So this, that's not, I think someone just pointed out in the chat something I haven't thought about. There's no fire or water or ice themed bosses in this game. But anyway, this is Glue Man. Glooman. I think what made him difficult for me is that if you get hit by him, or get hit by any robot, does a lot of damage to you, and it's very easy to get hit by him directly, because that's pretty much what he does. That's the only way he can damage you is if he runs into you. If you get hit by that gluey shit, you get stuck, he hits you, it hurts, rinse and repeat, blah blah blah. But we did it. So, we can make many a sticky situation now with... We, we got glue, basically. We bought some Elmer's glue after beating off Glue Man. Anyway, I don't think we really need anything from the store at this juncture. Maybe some... Let's buy some spike insurance. Why not? And maybe some pit insurance as well. Yeah, beat. If you fall into a pit, he'll lift you up. He's a consumable item. Spike shoes. You hit spikes. It hurts you instead of insta-deaths you. It's a consumable item. You're welcome. So we got two left. Now, if you've ever seen a rainbow, sometimes you just want to put glue all over your windshield if you're driving or your eyes if you're out jogging or walking and get that out of your sight. That is way too many colors. It's confusing. So clearly, glue alleviates that problem. Anybody following my logic? Anyway, it's Rainbow Man. Looks just like a rainbow? Rainbows are archers. Alright, I think I need to provide a disclaimer before this stage. This is, is, in my opinion, the most... I don't 
think difficult is the correct word, but... Dectalon, back me up here if you would. Uh, one of the more frustrating stages. The most frustrating stage. Because if you don't know it, then it will kick your ass. And this, it does not do a good job, in my opinion, of giving you time to take in the room and react to it before it just throws shit at you and kills you instantly. But you'll see what I mean here. It's Quick Man Lasers. With a twist, though. I'll probably get rid of this asshole. Leprechaun guy. You'll see more of him later. So obviously we're stuck, or... Are we? You can redirect him. Also a good thing to know, and I'll... Well, I'll show this off later because I want to conserve ammo, but... If you fire glue at them... It will immobilize them, and the laser will no longer fire out of them. Fun fact. Anyway, we have to go through a little gauntlet here. Free extra life! Whoa! Okay, now these things, these prisms... Pink Floyd much? I hate these things. It's the same as the lasers, instant death if you touch that color. You can either immobilize them with glue or redirect them. <laughs> or, or jump into them and die instantly. Sorry about that. Or do that. Anyway, let's show off Leprechaun Man. He, yeah, he does that. He's stupid. I recommend Nail Shield. Though we do want to conserve Nail Shield a little bit, because it comes in handy more than a couple times. All right, let's do this the uh, safe way. With glue. You can either glue or you can just go really fast! Go really fast! And here's a little break room. Uh, let me save my shit. I actually do need to kill both of them, because I want that stuff. All right, we're not done yet. Strongly do not like this. So again, you have to react very quickly. Unfortunately, in this room, it won't kill you instantly if you don't instantly react, but immobilize one of them, stop the chain, and really hurry here. This room has killed me so many times. And we made it, this is the midpoint. Have fun doing that if this is your first try at the game. Ugh. Also, this part's... Eh, it's okay. If he respawns very close to you, though... Just do this. Fun facts abound! I'm gonna collect a quick bounty of stuff. Restock the glue, just in case. So, you like the lasers. How about, you know, more lasers? Okay. There's a few strategies you can use there. I like to just get hit by them, because they don't really hurt you that much. Take some damage, save some time, and don't die. Go fast! And get glue ready. Hey, alternate path in. Let's see. Guess I'll restock my nail shield just in case. So. We're getting there. This part actually is not very... as, uh, as bad. Because here they just... they give you plenty of time. Ugh. Ugh. That's the stage. We did it. Who wants to play this game, right? Anybody? Ugh. Now we're at Rainbowman. How do you feel about this game now? 
Ah. Taking a quick celebratory drink. What do you do if you do this stage before Blue Man? Um. It's. It's doable. I think. Just really, really hard. You can shoot the prisms and redirect them. But, yeah. Anyway, as you might suspect, blue is what you want to go with. Here's Rainbow Archerman with a little antenna on his head for some reason. He fires a beam at you. Oh, and he can kill you instantly, by the way. Fun fact. <laughs> that prism will kill you. I forgot to mention, this uh, game has bosses that can insta-death you. Not only can they insta-death you, but in the Wily stages, they can pull you back to a... Well, I think they can. I forget. Oh well. It sucks. But we got the Rainbow Beam. And it does... it explodes. I don't know. There's one more stage left before we conclude this stream. Yes, uh... Oh no, I think we're good. So clearly, you get rainbows, you use them against... Try Nitro Man. Trinitro Man. Trin Itro Man. Trinitro Man. Anyway. Anyway, he's got a, a glass dong on his head. That's actually an important thing to keep in mind, believe it or not. If you happen to try to Buster Duel him, which I do not recommend. Oh, those enemies are awesome. I should uh, dedicate time to show them off. I mean, look, look at that. <laughs> look at uh, the, yeah. they want to explode on you. You can't just rush jet across that gap, but yeah, it's a waste of effort. So here you get introduced to this. Or if you don't like the looks of that, you just kind of, you know, rush through it. Ha ha ha. And there's a screw up there, which is easy to miss. Oh yeah, these things, they explode the moment you touch them. You don't have to just jump on them like in, uh, you know, Blizzard Man stage or whatever, but if you just touch them or shoot them, they explode. Keep that in mind. Rush insurance. What was an unnecessary dodge there? And you have these. So, it's, it's great. So, you know, spikes on the ceiling, those things, you kind of have to intuitively know to slide really quickly the moment you jump on them. But I recommend Rush Jet instead. Alright, this scorpion asshole shows up multiple times, so just, you know, <laughs> fuck him. Fuck him and everything he stands for. Alright, we'll bust for him. That's how you do it. Fun facts. There's an alternate path in this stage, which you can get to with Rush, which is to the right, but instead, I'm gonna take the conventional path. And, you know, yo-yo. That's how we roll. Okay, I don't, I really don't like this jump with the one spike there, so I prefer to uh, avert it, because I am a wuss. This is the midpoint of the stage, guys. I feel like I'll wind up in it at least once or several times. Declan, do you have a preferred weapon against those, or do you just bust around like a chump? Yeah. 
and here a puzzle element gets introduced to the stage. Only blow up some of them on purpose. Also, come on, why isn't that gecko asshole getting killed? Oh my god. The bravest, most powerful enemy in the Mega Man universe, right there. Uh, let's see. Courtesy, yes, I'm only going to do the eight robots this stream. I am ill-prepared for the Wily stages and the, uh, there's a... Well, I would spoil that, but, uh, this will be a three-part stream, I think. Although part two will be very, very short. Anyway, here's another little puzzle thing. Do this. Fun! And again, easy to miss, but there's a... Gosh, where are you going? Yes, uh, hopefully we'll be ending this stream soon. My skill permitting. Skill or what? Just, uh, you know, be good about timing. Toyman. And rush jet for inch. Ooh. Those things hurt you a lot if you hit them. Okay. In fact, just to uh, minimize risk here. Ooh. Rush, come on, buddy. Ugh. This room is pain. But. We're having fun, guys. Do not let that thing knock you back, or you're pretty much guaranteed to die. We're running out of nails. And Mega Man can't go to the construction store or Home Depot. Let's get a fourth energy tank. Not quite. Pretty cool design for an enemy, I must say, for being completely original. Declan, you told me you had trouble with this end part of the stage, and I agree with you, my friend. For, for one particular moment, here we go. There's a bit of a gauntlet to go through, so let me pause for a second to, uh, Prepare myself. Actually, get Rush Jet ready in case I need it. Actually, well, that might hurt me more than help. Here we go. And there it is. Let's wait for this guy. See if he gives us anything. That's all there is to it, folks. Alright, final boss, last part of the stream. He is weak to rainbows, obviously. Trenitro Man! That was his power that you just saw. Okay, let me pause for a second and tell you if he hit the little glass dong thing on the top of his head and you Buster Duel him, he does this thing where he overloads, I think, and it just kills you. You just die instantly. And it took me like a couple of tries to figure out that that was what was happening. Anyway, it's a true story. And that is it, folks. For this part, I, if you enjoyed this, I'll presumably finish this at some point. Uh, how many times did I die? Anybody count? Is it five? Is it less than five? Hopefully less than five. I'd be embarrassed. Four. Four seems passable, I think, for this game. Let's, uh... Stock up on some things. Just in case. 
I guess that's fine for now. So, I think that will do it for now. That is my previous game. We'll save on top number two. So next time, we're going to collect these letters, figure out what they're all about, and then uh, you'll notice that there's a slot missing on my save file. And it looks like it should be a weapon of some kind that we do not have. Hmm. Interesting. And you know what? If only that Y were a G, then this game would be like, oh my god, I can kill Goku and get his weapon. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, that's fantastic. But I think that will do it for now, folks. So thank you for watching. And, uh, you know, do it again sometime. Hope you had fun. I don't know. Do you have fun just sitting there and watching a computer? No one has fun doing that. I